sort of with the Tai Chi uh, Tai Chi broadsword can be applied to any short weapon. Okay, there's two types of weapons basically in Chinese martial arts, the short weapons and the long weapons. Once you understand the broadsword, you understand really all the short ones. Once you understand the pole, you understand all the long ones. Now, the basic exercise, if Michael was coming in to strike me to the side of my body, the first motion is to come up, strike the ribs, strike the ribs, come around, strike them across the side of the neck. So as he comes in, down the base of the body. Each one of these things can be used as a separate application. It might well say coming in with a level strike, the, the second one can be used to strike across. He's coming in from that side, and I'm caught to this side, and he's coming down. The third one can be used to strike across. If I'm down here, he starts to strike in. The basic idea is just strike in like this. Very similar to the Filipino arts and the way they use short weapons. Very, very similar. Of course, if this was a sword, I wouldn't be pulling it into the side of my body. Um, this can be applied very well to a walking stick. It can be used in a self-defense application very, very well. Just like to turn that off for a second. The two have their own particular walking stick forms. But the broadsword form applies very well to the walking stick. If Michael comes in to attack me with a knife, just a straight strike up from the first motion will make him release the knife. So from here, as he was born, straight up to the hand, releasing the knife, strike there. Yep. Giving me the yeah. use of the knife. Yeah. Um, from here, just the basic. You can step back a bit. Top. As he comes in, the stab to the stomach, a strike in the back to bring it out back. Coming in, releasing the knife. <laughs> How's it going, mate? Hey, mate. Um, I'd like to give us a list for a while. We're away. Okay, the basic things that you're using in the board, so, I mean, there's, there's numerous applications. I don't think it's particularly necessary to, to practice each application. The idea is getting the feeling of moving the board, the sword around your body and being flexible with it. There's a number of applications out of the form, say, he's coming to this side, where we use revolving backward motions, striking down to the knee joints, where we use ones where we revolve backwards and striking up to the throat from here, revolving backwards, from here, we're revolving backwards and then having that, the hook on the back is a very valuable thing for controlling his body and using an eye. Now the same things that you use with the broadsword, I also apply with the empty hand when taking the knife out of his body. Um, as he comes in, your first basic motion, which is the blocking up and striking motion. So as he, using that one to the air, then taking Basic motion of coming to here as he comes to stop. Coming through to there, the motion of from there, striking up to here as he comes, say, a bit higher towards your face, just stepping in up towards the throat and from there, twisting it back. So, there will. so you see that they can also apply to your empty hand. Okay.